How's it going traders? Your boy TJ is back with another video. I'm going over the things I would have done if I was to start fresh. Making mistakes at start can be crucial to your trading journey because you end up losing a lot of money. Don't know how to actually risk management. Don't know anything really about trading. No that you want to make money and you want to get rich quick. When you're starting off, the Instagram DM comes through, the buzzing. Someone's told you you can turn 500 pound into a few thousand, so you start that. You end up losing the $5,000. This is what happened to me, but it only got worse from there. I never got taught how to trade with risk management. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because I got told to use the same lots 1.0, 2.0, 5.0 sometimes. It was devastating to say the least, which is why I never ever followed anyone's signals or any mentor ever again in my life. This was six, seven years ago. It's probably changed now. I, I assume the way that trading is going, people always saying risk manage. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below your experiences with some of these gurus. Knowing what I know now, I would never have even opened up a live account. I would have just stayed on a demo account or use a free trial from a prop firm. Avoid using your money. My biggest mistake at the start was the risk management. It just was. I was losing my money like there was no tomorrow. It doesn't matter how many times you enter into the market, just do it once. If you enter twice, do not think like a gambling person, you're gonna make twice as much. For some reason as humans, have that installed because we are seeking to get rich quick. We're not understanding how much it actually takes to become a successful trader for the first couple of years i never even went on to trade with you how crazy is that i wonder if any of you still haven't might be able to trade on a phone i'm not saying you you can't trade on the phone but i'm just saying overall the supply and demand areas the market direction is so much easier reading it off a big screen you can see multiple multiple areas in the market from previous months previous years so much clearer your back testing can be much clearer you don't get enough experience and that's why i talk about you need to learn about trading you need to take the mistakes the losses everything that i've done in my trading experience so far within the last six seven years i've made too many mistakes too many costly mistakes like most beginning traders in the industry but these mistakes cost us the account then we are trying to recoup the losses back biggest mistake of my life trying to regain what i lost you're paying to learn basically you're paying to lose to learn that is that's what it is you're gonna lose it, it's facts but i could have avoided this by going on trading view actually practicing trading instead of listening to someone entering their trades they send me and believing the whole he's got a mclaren it wasn't even the guy's mclaren it was just in a garage but he always got in here you know took it down the road maybe here and there saying it was his it was never his, which is why you have to be careful when you're online and you got these people in chains, iced out, Lambos, you know, nine times out of ten, it's other people's money that is funding their success. Why do you think people ain't showing no massive, massive withdrawals with foolproof of bank statements, X, Y, Z, because they're not real traders. And it just comes back to what I wish I knew. The reason you can't believe what you see is because you're seeing a false life. You're seeing... A fake life you know that these people out here want to try and get their bait pull it in reel it up and catch you get you paying for courses xyz too much there's too much to go through the reason why live accounts ruined me at the start is because i didn't have high capital and i was trying to flip accounts and yes i flipped 500 pounds 30k by luck i flipped a grand into 10 grand then lost it all. This has happened to me multiple times, which is why I can go over this and teach you what I've learned. I don't deposit 500 pounds into a live account anymore and try and flip it. There's no point. I'm not over trading like I used to be. I used to want to trade every day. I even used to complain being a, you know, a trader with no experience. I used to go to the provider. Why are you not sending any signals? Like, bro, relax, man. The big rule is that I tell myself that you can't lose if you're not in. And that is the biggest factor of this you have to have high risk to reward get good percentage i didn't even know what risk to reward was i didn't even know what risk management was i didn't understand the sls all of just everything like that i never understood it like an actual trader understood it i was just seeing it from a b-tech new beginner point of view just listening to other people taking in that information could be complete rubbish 
but I never even, you know, went on to master the skill. I didn't put actual time into trading. I wasn't back testing myself. I wasn't trying to learn how to trade. I was just relying on other people to make me money, which obviously doesn't work. And I wish I knew this at the start. So if you are watching my videos and you want to learn how to trade properly, you don't have to pay for stuff. You just got to watch YouTube videos. And if it helps join in a free trading group, then link is in the description. If you want to see other traders signal, should we say, the positions that they take, all means do it. But have your own opinion on their trade. If I'm in 20 signal groups and they send signals and every time they send a signal, I back test it. There's going to be a lot of dodgy ones, but there'll be some good ones. And you could actually use them to your advantage. And I'm sure people do this. I mean, it's stupid not to. I actually don't do it. Thinking about it now, I might do it. But in the end of the day, you can't take someone else's word for it. You must trade how you want to trade. Please believe in yourself. Don't believe in someone else. Believe in yourself that you can trade. Obviously, use someone else's trades to help you maybe with direction, see what they're saying. But like I said, you've got to learn it yourself. Get on TradingView, get on YouTube, practice it. It is a life skill. You can learn it now, quit, come back in a year's time. Trading terms haven't changed. Market direction maybe has, but the trading terms haven't. You can make money anytime in the year, whenever you want, anywhere you want. Trading is there for life. That is why I advise everyone just to get on the charts, open up a demo account, start trading, start learning, and join me on this journey. Let's just smash it. And who knows, in four, five, six years time, imagine looking back on these content videos. I've got a McLaren, I've got a mansion, I've got a good life, I go to the gym all the time, I'm healthy, and yeah, I'm just loving life. We are not trading to get the McLarens, realistically, are we? Let's be real. We're trading to have a secure life, to be able to escape the matrix. Like and subscribe. It's been your boy TJ. Thank you for watching this video. Much love. I've really enjoyed making it. Until next time, I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace.